All right, upper back and shoulder tennis ball mobility exercise. We have two positions here. One, the balls will be separate, and two, the second position, they'll be together. In the second position, we go through every movement pattern similar to the first, but we incorporate an extra one for the mobility of our spine. So, getting started, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the balls exactly where I were to take a massage, if you will. I'm gonna lay down on the ground, from here, I'm going to feel the balls in my back, but they're not yet activated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a little bit that way to make the balls go down. From here, my hands come up, and the patterns I follow is Jay-Z, or I always say grandma at a Jay-Z concert. I go into the bilateral arm swimmer position, Oda, swimmer's line, sorry, Oda, with one arm here. Or I do the modified snow angel or the proper snow angel. In all positions, when I want to add a bit more gas, I'm able to do that by keeping my head always on the ground and my butt then in the air. However, when my butt is on the ground, it's important to note my head is still also always on the ground. I would then go through this pattern until I feel the muscles release a little bit and then move myself that way so the balls move down one vertebrae at a time, and then continue through that pattern. I would start from the top position, where we started from, and go to the bottom of my shoulder blades. When that is done, I will then either put the balls together and lay back down, or set the balls together and lay down like this, go through the same motions of Grandma at the Jay-Z concert, swim line, snow angel, modified, regular, but up, but down. But the new position now is the big bear hug. And now I don't want just a normal hug. We call it the bear hug because we want those fingers to wrap around the body. I always say try to make them touch. Through here, we are now opening up the shoulder blades, therefore showing or making the spine a bit more naked to the balls, if you will. And what that means is the balls now press against the actual spine themselves, which is important because if our spine doesn't move, neither do we. So in this position, I have it here, and I just can kind of rock back and forth or shift myself up and down, making sure to stay relaxed and always trying to breathe from the diaphragm so the stomach comes out. From here, I would just release the area and then again, move one vertebrae down, continue to go through all the other motions, so swim line, modified snow angel, whatever we want, and then remembering trying to go back in this position, in which you will notice often during the exercise, the fingers come closer together because we start gaining more range of motion. If you find this exercise is a bit tough or the balls hurt a bit too much, we have a few options. Get old tennis balls, they'll be softer. Change the ground on which you're laying on, add a pillow, add a mattress, a thicker carpet, or go to your store and ask for the tennis balls that the little kids play with. One option will be there be different colored, or the other one will be they have a green dot. And what that does for the kids is it makes the ball not bounce as high. So that means for you, there's less pressure going into your muscles when doing the exercise.